Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers. Uh, welcome uh, to the cricket show, uh, the cricket happening show. Again, uh, there are not much of uh, any international matches happening. But, well, I would like to start today's uh, cricket uh, show. And this is the news uh, which is coming from the English County Championship. And the reason that I am talking about this English County Championship today, especially, is to because to congratulate Yorkshire for winning the County Championship title here in England in 2014. So Yorkshire are the new uh, County Championship leaders and it has taken, it was, it was a big gap for them. The last time that Yorkshire actually could, took the title, uh, it was way back in 2001. So basically they had to wait 13 years to get a victory and as I said, Yorkshire have been crowned the new champs of the County Championship Division 1 uh, in England today. So because Yorkshire actually won the match against Nottinghamshire by an innings and 152 runs. So they had a crushing victory and well that is, that is the one uh, which has enabled them uh, to go on to become the county championship leaders of 2014 and a big congratulations to the Yorkshire team. Now just uh, looking at this particular match which happened, uh, where, where actually this is the one which really brought the uh, title for Yorkshire. This was a match being played between Yorkshire and Nottinghamshire. It was played at Trent Bridge in Nottingham. Yorkshire batted first, uh, made 532 runs for 9 declared. Adam lit the opener, uh, contributed 122 with 14 boundaries. Uh, Lees made 86 with 13 fours and 1699 coming from Gary Balance. Now Gary Balance, as you would remember, has already landed the central contract uh, for uh, for his team. I mean, he is going to be a permanent part of this England team. He has got a central contract with the English Cricket Board now. And Gary Balance, well, he made 99 with 10 fours and 1 six. Joe Root, unfortunately, missed out. He was out for 11 with one boundary. Uh, uh, Jonathan Barristow uh, also couldn't do much. He was uh, gone for two. Uh, Leaning made 42. Uh, Adil Rashid making 42 with six fours. But uh, look at Tim Bresnan. Yesterday I was talking to you about Tim Bresnan, dear fans and subscribers. I was a bit surprised that the central contract did not include Tim Bresnan, Bresnan in the mix of things. Because Tim Bresnan was just beginning to look good because look at what he did for Yorkshire. In fact, he went on to make 95 runs, 15 fours and 1 six. And probably the English, uh, uh, the English cricket board uh, probably kept the uh, youngsters. Uh, I mean, they wanted to actually build up for the future. And that was the precise reason probably Tim Bresnan amid some healthy competition as far as uh, uh, the seam bowling department is concerned. Bresnan was left out yesterday. But I always felt that Tim Bresnan still has something in him to offer uh, to this English cricket team. But look at it. He's an all-rounder. As you know, he's an all-rounder. He made 95 runs with 15 fours and 1 six. And the bowling, well, the uh, chief wicket taker for Nottinghamshire was uh, Gary Keady who took uh, 5 wickets for 163 runs. So Nottinghamshire in their reply were all out for 203. The highest scorer being uh, Chris Reed, the wicket keeper, not out on 81 with 15 fours. Other than that, there was only 141 coming in from Michael Lump's bat. Uh, and 203, so they considered a big lead there. As, as you know, it's a, it's a pretty big lead uh, that they considered. Uh, it was almost uh, 300 and um, a 327 run lead to Yorkshire. Now the, the wicket takers for Yorkshire were Ryan side bottom who's still going strong uh, even though he has retired as you remember from international cricket. He took three wickets for 25 runs. Uh, Brooks bowled well, four for 58 and three wickets for 52 for Adil Rashid the spinner. And Nottinghamshire in the second deck, uh, you know, starting uh, with three, uh, starting 327 runs ahead uh, they were all out for 177, the highest scorer being uh, Taylor. Uh, in, in fact, Nottinghamshire were told to follow on uh, after um, they considered a lead of 327 as expected. And uh, the Nottinghamshire, in fact, in their second dig, uh, put up a, a, one thought probably they would fight and they would put up a much better performance. But unfortunately, it was not to be. Ryan side bottom really ran riot through this Nottinghamshire second innings uh, uh, batting order as he had figures of 18.2 over 7 maidens, 
30 runs and 6 wickets in his bag, uh, which actually had Nottinghamshire all out for 177, the highest scorer being Taylor with 75 with 10 boundaries, uh, and uh, 43 coming in from Alex Hales uh, of, uh, of its, uh, with 7 fours. So 177 all out Nottinghamshire, uh, and that was it. Um, so as I said, it was a crushing victory for Yorkshire, and Ryan Sidebottom was the uh, chief uh, tormentor there uh, with um, uh, figures of 18.2 over seven maidens, uh, 30 runs, and six wickets in his bag. Um, and Brooks had two wickets for 64, one for uh, 33 for Adil Rashid, and one for 28 for Patterson. And Yorkshire, a player of the match uh, without, uh, without any questions. Uh, one could safely say it would have been Ryan Sidebottom. Yes, it was Ryan Sidebottom for his splendid swing bowling. Uh, who took? Uh, I thought he took uh, nine wickets in this uh, particular game, and he was the chief tormentor uh, of this uh, Nottinghamshire uh, batting order. And uh, well, as I said, Yorkshire are the new crown, newly crowned champions uh, of the County Championship Division One in England. They have won the uh, County Championship trophy. Uh, here in 2014. So once again congratulations to Yorkshire uh, for putting up a great show there and I'm sure all these players in this Yorkshire team if you have a look at it uh, like uh, Joe Root, uh, Gary Valance, uh, Ryan Sidebottom everybody would be pretty pretty proud about the performance. Uh, Gary Valance, Joe Root, uh, Barristow these are all uh, test people, uh, Tim Bresnan, uh, everybody and Ryan Sidebottom as I said was the chief tormentor uh, would have been extremely proud uh, that uh, they took Yorkshire to the title in 2014. Well, so that concludes my uh, wrap-up of this uh, of Yorkshire being the newly crowned champions uh, of uh, in 2014. Uh, now I'm going to shift you over to a game which is going on right now. But before that, I would like to share some. There's a game which is going on uh, uh, between Scotland. As you know, Scotland are touring Ireland. They've already lost two, two one-day international matches. Today is the third one-day international matches, match being played here at uh, the village Malahide, Dublin in Ireland. And uh, Ireland uh, were the ones who batted first. Uh, they could muster only 241 for nine. With John Mooney, uh, as you would have all seen in the papers today, that John Mooney of Ireland uh, has, been, uh, has been away from Irish cricket for quite a long time. And the reason that was happening was that he was going into some real depression uh, and uh, he has really, really fought that depression and finally is back into the Ireland team. That break has done him a world of good as today. John Mooney was the one who contributed uh, in a big way uh, by making 96 runs of 77 deliveries with 12 fours and two sixes. And that's what enabled Ireland to muster 241 for nine because they were really, really struggling. They were losing wickets at regular intervals. The other contributors being Kevin O'Brien with 36 or 47 deliveries with three fours. Uh, 22 from Shane Thompson of 31 balls with three fours. Uh, Anderson making uh, 19 of 45 balls with one four. Uh, I was a bit surprised that uh, uh, one is not uh, uh, seeing uh, Peter Sterling uh, in the lineup. Uh, it was a pretty surprising. One does not know whether he's injured. Uh, Pointer made 15. In fact, Balbini. The opener has been really, really struggling. He has not been really able to get amongst any runs uh, in this particular uh, uh, tour of uh, uh, with, the, with this particular tour uh, where um, uh, Scotland are uh, touring Ireland. Uh, he has been really struggling. Uh, the Ireland opening batsman Andy uh, Balbirni. Uh, Anderson uh, also made only 19 of 45 balls with 1-4. Uh, Pointer was out for 15 of 25 balls with 1-4. Mooney, as I said, was the highest scorer. 96 of 77 with 12 fours and two sixes. Pointer made seven uh, of 14 balls. Uh, Andy White making Andrew White making six of 14 balls. Uh, Max Sorensen was out for 10 of as many balls with one four. Craig Young not out on 11 of seven balls with one four and one six. Uh, and McCarter uh, and McCarter was not out on one. So 241 for nine was the final tally for Ireland after batting first against Scotland. Uh, the bowling. Well, there was a five-wicket back for the spinner, uh, Huck, as he bowled 10 overs, no maiden, 54 runs and five wickets. Uh, Evans, uh, on the top of the uh, pace bowling department, uh, really did a fine job. 10 overs, one maiden, 27 runs and one wicket. There was a picture of economy today. Uh, Sharif, uh, 10 overs, no maiden, 244. Davy, 10 overs, one for 41. Barrington had two overs for 13. 
Uh, McLeod, 4 was done for 27 and Leask has 4 overs uh, which went for 32. While I'm talking to you here, Scotland have uh, lost their first wicket uh, as um, chasing 242 runs for victory. Scotland have just lost uh, the wicket of uh, Matthew Cross, the opener, as he was caught by Max Sorensen of the bowling. Now, Craig Young is continuing to really, really impress. As I said, Craig Young has been a sort of a real revelation, according to me, in this Irish cricket team. Uh, because what he has done, as I said, he has been playing for Sussex for quite a long time. And here he comes into this Irish team and has really, really strengthened that pace department for Ireland, I reckon. Because with Max Sorensen, he's another good contributor. And Craig Young uh, has been doing a fine job. He has not only been able to give the breakthroughs for Ireland uh, in this uh, tour, uh, but he has also been able to get a lot of wickets. And uh, that really says a lot about Craig Young, uh, this uh, young pace bowler from uh, Ireland. So Matthew Cross has just been dismissed out for one. McLeod is not out on 10 of 12 deliveries at two fours. Gardiner is out, not is batting right now on four. And 17 for one is the uh, is the current score after four overs for Scotland, chasing 242 runs for victory. Um, Sorensen has been a bit costly. His two overs has cost him 12 runs. Uh, and Craig Young, uh, two overs on maiden, five runs and one wicket on the money. And um, I'm just wanting to tell you. Uh, that uh, G.J. McCarter uh, was actually making his uh, test debut today uh, for Ireland. We probably will see him uh, later on um, uh, having a bowl at the, uh, at the Scottish batsman. Uh, well, uh, dear um, uh, fans, uh, friends and scabbers, this is as far as the cricket updates are concerned. Uh, now, just uh, talking about some uh, uh, cricket news here, I'm trying to see what cricket news I can really share with you. Uh, I have certain, some cricket news uh, which is uh, coming my way here. Uh, and this uh, this uh, this particular cricket news uh, is um, uh, really really coming uh, from uh, uh, Bangladesh. Now, as you know, Bangladesh and West Indies uh, are right now. Uh, as you know, Bangladesh are touring West Indies. They've already lost their first Test match, uh, and the news that is coming, as you know, the uh, the second Test is round the corner now. Uh, it's almost probably next week. The second Test match is uh, bound to start, uh, and for um, uh, West Indies, it's not good news. Uh, uh, their opener, Chris Gale, was looking good. Uh, he's going to be unavailable for the second test match uh, because he has some personal matters to deal with. Uh, he's been going to be replaced by Leon Johnson. Uh, and also Bangladesh are having some injury troubles. Uh, Imrul Case, uh, the, is the batsman, is also out with a skin infection. So he's also not there uh, for this particular match. Now, the other the cricket news that I would like to share with you uh, is coming in from India uh, and the reason I'm talking about India is that uh, one remembers that um, uh, Mohamed Irfan, um, I mean the, the brother of Yusuf Patan, Yusuf Patan who is not in favor of the selectors nowadays uh, and he has not been able to really really um, uh, get into that groove that uh, one would have probably thought uh, that uh, Yusuf Patan uh, would have done uh, but, uh, but well uh, one thing that uh, I will have to uh, say uh, is that uh, Yusuf Khatan has been uh, really, really uh, struggling uh, as far as uh, batting is concerned. Uh, his brother Irfan Khatan, as you would remember, was one of those wonderful, wonderful swing bowlers. And uh, also, let me tell you that Irfan Khatan uh, is being uh, the bowler who actually, uh, if one remembers, uh, he took a hat trick against Pakistan, and that was the time um, uh, Irfan Khatan used to swing the ball like a real banana. He was a he was a very, very good swing bowler. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, well, uh, he had a dip in form. Uh, and then, uh, probably one thought he would have always been an integral part of this Indian game. But unfortunately, due to injuries and a dip in form, he had to be out. But again, he made his comeback, as you would remember, uh, on the Tour of West Indies, but had to return with a hamstring injury. Uh, and injuries have been something which has been uh, dogging Irfan Patan for quite a long time. Uh, but uh, definitely he's making a beeline for the World Cup 2015. Now, uh, he has just come about uh, making a statement here uh, saying that uh, he's going to be trying to play the full domestic season this time uh, and uh, he's really, really determined and he has also sounded that he definitely, definitely wants to get back into the swing of things uh, and probably be a part of the 2015 World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. Now, that is something... I'm sure every cricketer uh, would love to be a part of the World Cup for his, uh, for, his, for his country, no doubt about that. 
and Irfan Patan has also sounded that and so he has said that to do that he is going to play a lot of first class games um, uh, you know uh, he's going to play a lot of first class games to try to make himself fit uh, like a fiddle and also be a part of each and uh, uh, probably he wants to be a part of the World Cup 2015 and that, that is something as I said um, there is healthy competition as far as India is concerned and India are also uh, the defending uh, champions uh, as you would remember uh, 2011 India won the World Cup uh, under M. Mahindra Singh Dhoni so Ifan Patan would be hoping uh, that uh, he would get an opportunity well wish him good luck but as I said there is real competition now as far as Indian bowling is concerned because a lot of good bowlers coming in a lot of young pace bowlers uh, and I'm sure Irfan Patan uh, age is not on his side now like before uh, and I'm sure the selectors would be uh, looking mostly at, youngster, at youngsters and uh, I think Irfan Patan has to really be fun but I really really wish him good luck uh, that he plays the whole domestic season um, uh, proves that he's fit like a fiddle uh, and uh, I'm sure Irfan Patan would like to do some extraordinary performances with both bat and ball uh, to uh, get into this uh, Indian team for the World Cup in 2015 in Australia and New Zealand. So that is some news that I want to share. Now we'll go and have some uh, live cricket commentary uh, till such time uh, uh, till such time this uh, particular YouTube broadcast goes. Probably uh, I think I can uh, probably give some cricket commentary. Uh, for probably uh, probably five minutes, uh, not even five minutes, probably three minutes. Let me see uh, how I can uh, do that. Uh, so let's uh, get on to the game here uh, between Ireland and Scotland. And Scotland, after losing that first wicket, uh, are slowly making some progress. Uh, the score has progressed to 33 for one currently. Uh, we are seeing the seventh over being bowled as McCarter, as I said. Uh, was making his international debut today and I see that he has uh, just come in uh, and he has bowled three balls uh, in his career in international cricket now as the first ball that McCarter bowled uh, in his uh, career, Graham McCarter the first ball was a couple of runs uh, which uh, resulted for Callum McLeod and the next delivery had no run as he bowls the uh, the next delivery, the third delivery to McLeod, again a quick single has been taken to the cover region and the fourth delivery is just coming in to bowl to uh, Gardiner, comes in and bowls to Gardiner, uh, Gardiner uh, allows that ball to go to the uh, keeper who collects it cleanly as uh, McCartner goes back to, on the top of his uh, bowling run up, uh, is now going to come in, bowls a few uh, gingerly, uh, gingerly um, uh, walk uh, and this comes in and uh, bowls to Gardner. Gardner again won't get run. So we are coming to the final ball from McCarter now. Now McCarter as I said, Graham McCarter is making his international debut today and um, for Ireland and he is the one who is bowling right now. So McCarter uh, comes in and bowls to Gardner. Gardner once again defends and that's the end of the over as McCarter bowls his first over in international cricket and uh, he bowled, I thought he bowled pretty well, uh, give away just three runs. So end of seven overs now uh, between the game between Ireland and Scotland, Ireland 241 for nine of the 50 overs. Uh, Scotland are uh, placed at 33 for one after seven overs. Callum McLeod is not out on 18 of uh, 21 deliveries with three fours. Hamish Gardner is not out on 12, 15 balls with one four. Uh, Scotland currently placed at 33 for one in seven overs. I require under 209 runs uh, in the balance 43 overs uh, and that is to be scored at a clip of 5 runs per over. Still gettable but again as you know Ireland uh, team, Irish team has been doing pretty pretty young as I see Craig Young coming in and bowls to McLeod and McLeod uh, drives this ball down to the mid-off region and but has to still stay put at the crease because the ball goes straight to the fielder and there is no run. Well, dear fans, friends and subscribers, that concludes my cricket happening show for today as usual. Uh, your cooperation has been brilliant. Your contributions have been tremendous. Thanks for uh, always, always contributing to this uh, happy cricket show, the cricket happening show. Uh, and uh, that's it uh, as far as uh, today is concerned. 
and I'll be seeing you tomorrow as you all know all my dear friends and subscribers know Saturday is always a late night cricket show and I'll be there to talk to you on that late night cricket show until then it's a big goodbye on today's show thank you